All right, so we haven't really discussed a lot of topics in this uh, in this course related to developing mobile apps. Uh, most of the the apps and maps we've produced are mainly for use uh, on a on a web page, on a desktop, or, or laptop. However, you may have an interest in producing tools that can be used in a mobile environment, such as on a tablet or phone. So again, we're not going to talk about that in great detail, but I did want to at least introduce that topic. So in the ArcGIS environment, um, the Mobile apps are produced generally using the App Studio for ArcGIS. So if you Google App Studio for ArcGIS or go to the ArcGIS for Developers webpage, you should be able to find this tool. Note that you do have to have a license that supports the use of uh, or supports the access of this tool. So for example, if you click Buy, you should be able to log in and download the software if you do have access to it. Uh, the App Studio is where the apps are generated. So there's builds for Linux, Mac, and Windows. And then the player is where our tools can be played, and you can either download it from, uh, uh, from an app store um, or download it directly from this page. So I've already downloaded this tool. If you, go into, if you download it, you can find it in your ArcGIS folder and then under App Studio. All right, so uh, again, this is what the tool looks like. I'm just going to start from scratch here, have some windows up. So this is what the tool looks like. Um, again, there's a lot you can do with it, but you do have to have some background and coding in order to make a very uh, specialized tool. So what I'm going to do is just generate how to use um, how, to, how to use some available templates. Okay, so I'm going to go to New App, and I will open this page, and then I'm going to I'm going to go to Templates. So we're going to use a template, and then I'm going to use Quick Report, and I'm going to call this Wildlife sightings reporter and then uh, we'll hit create all right so that just generated this new object and now we should be able to edit it you can either click on it to do some editing or whatever options pop up over here it's going to be associated with, with whatever tool you have selected so first I'm going to go to settings Okay, and we'll change some settings. So first off, under details, we're saying this is version 1.0.1, .1, so you can you know, create versions of it um, as you adapt it. Um, there's the title. We can add a summary description. We don't really need to do that. Um, here I'm going to add in some, uh, some, ta uh, some tags, so Western AGP and Juan Forest. And I don't think we really need to change anything else. So I'm going to click Apply. OK, and then we're going to go to Resources. So here we can set an app icon. So this is what would show up on your like phone screen or whatnot. So I've already generated a few images to use for this. So I'm going to go to this AGP page and grab this. I uh, know this is actually for your example, but it doesn't really make sense for this. I'm just grabbing, grabbing an image. Here's telling me that that asset is not in the folder for the project, so it needs to move it over there. And if I hit yes, it'll make a copy into the folder for, for the project. Um, for the background image, I'm going to grab another image that I've already generated. And again, it's just going to pull it into the folder. And I could change some other things, like change background color, for example. I mean, like a, we could use like a, a dark gray or something. All right, that's probably good. I'm going to hit Apply again. And then now I'm going to go to Properties. OK, so uh, this is the uh, background um, image um, for the Start page. Um, I'm just going to grab the same one. I'm going to grab this uh, this image. This is setting up some uh, fonts. Again, this is the logo. I'm going to I'm going to use my uh, just use this again. And then you can have some information about the developer, websites, phone number, so on and so forth. 
Um, now I'm going to go to form. Um, this is specific to um, this uh, this uh, reporter tool. So you're basically going to have to link to a a web map or a web layer that you can write into. Um, so let's let's set that up. So first thing I do is link to a web map. So I got to find my web map. So this is my Mon Force map. Let me. Uh, so the this string of numbers that should be the ID for it. So let's grab that and dump that in there. And then we also need an ID for the layer. So um, this will be our, we need to find the service and then there's only one layer so it'll just be layer zero. So let's find that map service. Again we can do that by going to our content and then our sightings data and then again just grabbing this ID. Actually, we may have to give it the service URL. So let's try that instead. So it should be this link on the bottom of the page there. I find some of the more complicated part of this is just trying to figure out what it is that it wants from you. Yeah, so that should do it. And then this should be index zero or the first layer. So it apply. And then callers, again, we can go in here and mess around with the callers. We'll just leave it default for now. And um, other properties. So I think this is good. So let's hit apply again. Capabilities. Um, so this is set up so it can use your location. Um, there's a beta test for a high accuracy location. We'll simply leave that off. Um, by default, it can't access Bluetooth or Beacon, but it can access uh, networks, so like wireless. Um, and it can in, it can access your external storage, um, and then it can access your au your audio camera and microphone. So I think that's good. And then this sets up sizes for different devices that it would be optimized for. I think that's fine. And this sets up licensing, so you may have to get a license key to to use the software. This tends to be especially important. For, for Mac or sir for Apple operating systems. Okay, so I think that'll do it. So let's hit apply. Let's pull this back up. Close that. Okay, so let's see what the tool looks like. So to test the tool, we can go to run, and this just creates a virtual um, tool. All right, so it popped up. It loaded, it took my icon. There's the title and there's subtitle, and then we can try to add data. So I'm gonna to go to new. Nope. Didn't like that. New, agree. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I can add in a report. So I'm gonna do small mammal next, and then find a location. Again, if this was on your phone, you'd be able to do, use your location-based services, um, but obviously I'm not on a phone right now. So I'm going to go up here, like in the Cheat Canyon. Is that the Cheat Canyon? Uh, let's see. Actually, this is the Cheat Canyon. Let's say right there. So that'll put that point on the map. Next. All right. Um, and then we could add a up an upload. Since I'm on my desktop, we should be able to use my uh, use my webcam. So let's give that a shot. Oh, maybe it can't. That's probably because I'm actually using it in this recording. So, uh, but if I say had a, an image on my desktop, I could, or on my computer, I could use it. I'm just going to upload that background image just as a test. Um, And it adds that in, and then we'll hit next. And then this is saying this is required, so and I add that in, and then I'll say um, saw a squirrel. <laughs> I can't spell again. 
I don't know how to spell that. How about we'll do saw a field mouse? So I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> All right, and then that'll work. And then if we hit submit, it should upload that to our um, to our feature layer. So in short, it looks like it's working. So we'll hit done, and we can close this. Uh, so a couple other notes before we leave this. Um, if you click make. This will allow you to actually generate a executable file or a build. So there's a couple options. There's cloud make. So you basically send it to like an ArcGIS server to uh, um, to create the install file, and the, or you can do it locally. So let's just do select, and then you have your options here for environment. So I could build a 64-bit Windows file and then it would render it and then I could eventually download it and install it on my machine and you can also build like Android builds, Apple builds, Linux and so on and so forth. Um, so we're not really going to go through that but I just want to know that you can build that and if you get into actually building apps you can actually take these and upload them to a store like, uh, like the Apple Store or Google Play Store and let people actually download them and use them. Um, another side note is if you create a um, if you create a, 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 a tool and then you upload it then you also can use this QR code um, so you can use your QR code scanner on your phone to like install and run uh, the software okay so again there's a lot more you can do with this but that's all we're really going to go over um, in the in this course in regards to to mobile applications